ओके बस नेक्स्ट पार्टीशनिंग ऑफ इन्फो क्यूब सो दिस अनदर मेकैनिजम थ्रू विच यू कैन इंप्रूव दि पर्फॉमेंस ऑफ दि क्वेरी सी वॉट यू कॉल दिस वेन यू दस टू ऑप्शन यू Let's say I've got uh, three years of data. You're pushing into three different cubes. That is, you call it as physical partitioning. Sorry, uh, logical partitioning of data into multiple targets. But apart from this, I can load all this data into one cube and partition the cube itself. Uh, physically, I can partition the fact table in all these cubes <coughs> based on month-wise or fiscal year period-wise. That is called as partitioning of cube. But what are the partitions you are creating? It is actually creating an E table, not an F table. F table is by default partitioned on request number. And what are the partitions you create? You are basically creating it on the E table, not the F table. Okay. And we can partition only on calendar year month or fiscal year period. And only when the backend database is seek when we we cannot partition if the backend database is SQL Server. Okay. There are issues in it. You put now. How you partition is very simple. Now, let's see. The slow in system. So my so I got the cube, okay. So how do I partition my cube? Right click on the cube and say what? Change extras menu, DB performance, and the option is what? DB partitioning. We go to extras menu and say. What? db partitioning that la chudu even though i've used all the time cards it does enable this radio buttons only for these two means you can do partitioning either on calendar year month or fiscal year period so no, select calendar year month and say what mm. <coughs> 01.2015 03.2015 i'm just giving only for 3 months here so how many partitions does it create and it creates four partitions Right? All the transactions before Jan in one, and Jan to Feb in one, Feb to March in one, and ex anything apart from March will be one more. Greater than March data will be in one more. Max value not possible. Just say okay. Format. Hmm. And activate. So it, it creates partitions for which table was F table or E table? E table. And I can see those. Uh, my cube name is Y Sales. I can go to SC fourteen E and Y Sales. That's my which table is this? E table. And then you see a button. What storage parameters? Now you get close out this. What is here? Partition map expand. Partition partition partition. What does it mean? There are four partitions. Expand first one. Less than Jan, mm, less than Feb, less than March, and less than Max value. Like this, it creates four part. It's creating partitions on E table, not the F table. Was okay. Where did we say that we wanted it monthly? I said, I said, extras menu, DB performance, data part. I said month wise here. Then said gave the range. Hmm. Okay. Let's say.
Can I create a copy of straight away like this? Okay. Again, I've got another cube. Sorry. Another, uh, all the time code checks, I'm creating another cube. But this time I have a different requirement. I would like to partition it on month wise, but I want 331 into one block. Not month, quarterly I want. So I'll, I'm saying like 0, 1, 2, what? Uh, complete year I gave um, for one year, but I want 3 3 months into one block. Eh? So I would say max number of partitions is 4. If I say 6 6 months into one block, it's max partitions 2. No, I am but go the 13 elipote, but I am restricting it to that. So it starts group, it starts merging them, formulates partition for one quarter. In, actually, any created the four and five was said. Yeah. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. First one is what? Less than March, June, mm. September, December, Maxwell. Okay, boss. Like this, you can control for six months anything you want. Do you know what is the difference between calendar year month and fiscal year period? Calendar year month, it load month and year. It, it, it represents month in a calendar year. Same with the, each month in a financial year is represented with fiscal year period. If my finance, let's say now, if this is 01.2015, I think Jan 2015, calendar year, I think. If my financial year is from, let's say, from April to March, okay. When I say first period of 2015, I would refer to what? April. That is so. Each month in a financial year is fiscal year period. Each month in a calendar year is calendar year. So you can do partition either on two. Okay? Good. Next question I want to Now, once the partitions are created on the cube, can I change those partitions? That's the point. Can I repartition the cube again? Extras menu, deep performance. Did it change it to level? <coughs> so you cannot really repartition my cube once it is done, okay? But from the latest versions, they have given us a flexibility of repartitioning also from BI7.x. If you go to what? Uh, how do we repartition? Go to administration. There is a menu. What is here? Repartitioning in and specify the queue what you want. So do you want uh, attach partitions, merge and co or complete repartition? Complete and uh, completely new partitions you want to create. I want... Uh, Attach new part and December 2015. I want one more for March 2016. So I'll say attach partition in slice. Yes. Uh, what is the new partition you want to create? Uh, 2016. Dot, mm, next quarter can go part and add JSON. Yeah. Done. Attaching partition is done. If I go to what it says, then two is not a you put Matta Maripinabus. I said, Ah, in the cut there, in the cut, little white is not adding note. I said, Maximum or partition is four, right? So, I bring the Jan 2015 uh, March work at Let's 3, 6, 9, and it is extended the last partition to 0, 2, 16. Yeah? Or I can complete repartition it. Com I'll say what? Complete repartitioning. See, slice. Yeah, same screen. I'll say what? Uh, 2016 March. One I want to run it immediately and smart.
it has become only 3 or max le maul 1 2 3 like this you can do repartitioning of the cube okay hmm. the question is can i do repartitioning of the cube when there is data <coughs> or can i forget about repart can i partition my cube when there is data first no when there is data in the cube it does not allow me to do partitions for example now there is data in this cube and then I am trying to select some cal month I will try to partition this cube. Data on night and Even this data is happening, but <coughs> actually, old version it does not happen when this data was. But even though if there is some data and then you, it is allowing pattern, you don't do that directly because it might create some inconsistency with the data was. So now logic is now let's say I give you a cube and I ask you to partition the cube. Then what they do, even though there is a direct flexibility of doing repartitioning here you still don't do direct libos you always take a backup of the cube and then do reporting so how will you do this now so if i give a cube for repartitioning what how will i do that already cube has been loaded data from from past five to six years now because of query performance you decide to do partitioning now then what i'll do mm. <coughs> we'll create a copy cube take all this data delete data partition it, get the data back into this cube can i do that way mm. What you learn on or internal discussion it lesson. Now creating a copy cube, you're loading all the data into it. Now why do you want to get the data back again? What are the new cube you created? Create partitions in it and load all the data into this cube and then do reporting on it. Logical and what are the new cube you create? Create partitions and get the all the data from the old cube to new cube and start using this cube. Why do you want to get the data back to old cube? Dependency. Uh, what dependency? Multi provider. Uh, let's say my old queue is already used in 100 multi providers, then what will I do? Okay. Other point. Then let's say my query is already created on the old queue. But can I copy query from one queue to another queue? Yes, I can copy. We can copy. There is a T code called RSZC which can where you can copy queries from one queue to our discussion erases the discussion saying can I copy queries from one queue to another queue? Yes. All the queries from one cube can be copied to another cube by using the T code RSZ sequence. Okay. Fine. You could not know what to do. What I am going to do is to say that I am going to say that I am going to say that what are the design techniques we will use to design your cube? Question. I want to say one to one, one to many, I want to say it's better. What I want to do, while designing cube itself, why don't you decide about partitioning and what I want to do? Loading throughout the end of the gun, no, I'm targeted range gun anyway. At the designing of the cube itself, why don't you decide about doing partitioning and what I want to do? At the design, just so I have curved down on the leather and what I want to do, even the, forget about queries, performance whether it is slow or not why don't we do partitioning it okay but how will you decide whether you want really partitioning or not what i want to answer let's say there is a query i am expecting at least one query on the queue where it has got month wise reporting so when you have a particular month when you create partitions if you don't create partitions it will scan through the entire table if you create partitions on each month it will just read data only from that block and gives it to me and what 
at least if you are expecting one query which reads month wise data then that would, at least that query would speed up right so decide about partitioning there itself okay at the design phase phase itself if you decide to have some any at least one query on the queue which needs month wise then do go for partitioning on the month wise and that improves your query performance and what uh, uh, does it you understand how it is improving instead of scanning the entire table it can it scan only that particular block so it is it does increase a lot of performance on the query nene unnanu ante sir abba chestao sare e month nunchi e month chestao anadu e vadu ante january nunchi december chesi pedtanu and nene unnanu ante sir january ఇవి టూ థౌజండ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ జనవరి నుంచి డిసెంబర్ చేసినావు ఆఫ్టర్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ వాట్ లెవెన్ ఆల్ ది ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ డేటా విల్ గో గో ఇన్ టు ది లాస్ట్ బ్లాక్ దెన్ హౌ విల్ యూ హ్యాండిల్ దిస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇది డిస్కషన్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఆల్ ది ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ డేటా విల్ గో ఇన్ టు వాటర్ ద లాస్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఇవి దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ బికమ్ హ్యూజ్ ఈవెన్ ది క్రియేట్ పార్టిషన్స్ వెల్ బిఫోర్ ద డిజైన్ టైమ్ నో ఇట్స్ ఆఫ్ నో యూస్ బికాస్ ద లాస్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఇస్ బికమింగ్ బిగ్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఆఫ్ నో యూస్ బస్ ఓకేనా నేను భారీ క్వశ్చన్ వేసాను నేను ఫుల్గా ఉంటాను వాటర్ రివర్స్ సో నీకు ఆ ప్రాబ్లం అయితే ఏ ముందులే అప్పుడు రీపార్టేషన్ లేదు యాక్చువల్ కాన్సెప్ట్ బట్ దానికి సొల్యూషన్ ఏమిచ్చినట్టే ఓకే నా యూ క్రియేట్ వన్ క్యూ ఫర్ టూ థౌసండ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ రైట్ క్రియేట్ ట్వెల్వ్ పర్ యూజ్ ఇట్ ఫర్ టూ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ క్రియేట్ వన్ మోర్ క్యూ క్రియేట్ ట్వెల్వ్ పార్టేషన్స్ లో టూ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ డేటా ఇంటూ ఇట్ ఫర్ టూ థౌసండ్ సెవెంటీన్ క్రియేట్ వన్ మోర్ క్యూ క్రియేట్ ట్వెల్వ్ పార్టేషన్స్ లో డేట్ టూ థౌసండ్ సెవెంటీన్ డేటా ఇంటూ అండ్ ఓకేనా వాడు అట్లా వచ్చిన రౌండ్ then it says combine those queues with multi prod and they do reporting adi one concept atlo de icha but you don't have to go even to that now now we have flexible of doing repartition the queue once the partition create we are able to change it now with what repartition adi concept okay na boss fine hmm next option let me see this 